Hello everyone again, this is Dragonfly Productions bringing you Halo 4 multiplayer playing Capture the Flag this time. Joining us today is Chasicus Maximus 21. Hello ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? As stated, I am Chasicus Maximus 21. Capture the flag. Good commentary. Yeah, let's keep it up. <laughs> Good start. Awkward silence. <laughs> So, yeah, playing Flight, Capture the Flag. Not very fond of this game type, at least not in Halo 4. Halo Reach, it was, like, very entertaining on, in regards to, like, base camping to guard your flag. Like, like the most common map was Hemorrhage, and the best camping strategy was basically to you know, run outside of your base like a good ten or so feet away, grab the shotgun, run back into your base, and just hide there for somebody to just stupidly walk into the base, then shotgun the hell out of them. <laughs> Wait, so does this mean that you are camping in this, or...? Oh no, of course not. I'm out in oh, okay. the field. Camping doesn't work Well, I work just figured, as... I mean, you were telling camping strategies, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, in Halo Reach, camping was an ideal strategy. In Halo 4, you have to actually do shit. Like, in this case, I'm, like, out there in the field, shooting at people, getting shot at, mostly. <laughs> so, um... Oh, can I... No! Oh, fuck! Sword! <laughs> that was embarrassing. Here I thought I was get Really? He's got a sniper rifle and jetpack? OP much! Okay, wait, did they ever... Okay, can you... You can zoom in while you're in the air in a jetpack, right? Yeah, you can scope. I thought that they fixed that. No, you could always scope while jetpacking. No, 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 because... Okay, wasn't it like... Alright, whenever the game first came out, didn't people complain about it because it was really steady? Was it? I don't know, I thought so. I don't know much about this game. I just know on forums and stuff, I read a bunch of complaints about it in the beginning, and now, you know, it's kind of died down. Well, Halo Reach, um, I tried to use the scope while using jetpack. It worked. You know, you could scope while jetpacking. Trouble is, it was not as... It was not very steady. Like, once the jetpack runs out, you start falling, like, kind of quickly. So... Um, you would have to, uh, you would have to adjust, like, really quick, or just, in general, be used to it. Uh, the one thing that, one of the few things I had to complain about for Halo Reach was the fact that, uh, actually, I believe we already covered that, didn't we? The, uh, the fact that, um, you got unscoped if you even got grazed by a passing bullet. Like, yeah, was, yeah, we have talked about that. That was, like, the most annoying part about Breach, was trying to play a scope-based game type and constantly getting unscoped by somebody who can't shoot you in the head. You know, do you the, the common courtesy of shooting you in the head. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, we've already covered that, huh? Uh, like, I love how they... Woo! Save from an assassination! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so... That I was love, pretty good. I, I didn't even the, expect that one. I love the changes that they made to Halo 4's, uh... Capture the Flag. Primarily, the fact that you're not, like, really defenseless while holding the flag. Holding the flag was as good as you were able to be up close to an enemy. If you couldn't melee someone, then... Ooh, nice. That's not where I got a sticky there at that time. Um, you know, uh... Oh, crap, what was I talking about? If you if you couldn't melee, you were talking about the flag, flag oh, holding. yeah. Um, if you were the flag bearer, you should always have a guy, like with you at all times, or be in a vehicle so you can get away quickly. Otherwise you're a sitting duck, because having the flag is only as good as you are able to be able to get close to an enemy. Whereas, oh yeah, I get what you're saying. And, like, I do agree with that, though, because I'm pretty sure that, you know, 
that would be a big problem for anyone. I mean, because knowing the people that you know I play online with, with like Call of Duty stuff like that, teammates are usually pretty shitty. And yeah, I like the fact that you can actually shoot and stuff while holding the flag. Yeah, that's definitely a nice addition. Um, I might be playing Griff Ball or Oddball. Uh, some the next or last video, I'm not sure. Not really fond of any ball game types, but um, from what I've seen, they made modifications to the ball game types as well, where you can actually pass the ball to a teammate. And oh, really? I'm I'm curious to see how well or not well that might work. Gotta hunt down this guy here. Ooh, sorry, sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm paying attention to the gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with, you've got me thoroughly interested. <laughs> on on this particular map, you can't just sit and camp. Well, in this case, I'm attempting to camp. That's just to protect our flag. Um, because it's you know out in the open now. Um, but no, it, on this map in particular, there's such a short distance between the two flags. You have to stay on your flag or stay on your opponent's flag. You can't just sit around and guard one or the other. Um, one of the maps I'm... Oh, nice! Uh, one of the maps I'm like... I like it a lot, but at the same time I hate it with all my existence. It's, um, it's a love-hate relationship. This, we're not talking love-hate relationship. We're talking... Love, I'm a cut you bitch relationship. <laughs> um, and it's the, uh, I believe it's called Exiled, and it's a nice, like, circular, um, forest like map. Uh, and I like it a lot on several accounts that it's nice to have some decent cover and, you know, be able to take out enemies from hiding spots and whatnot. But my major issue with it is they've got like all of the overpowered wet uh, vehicles on that map. They've got the Scorpion, they've got the Goss Hog. I think that might even have a Rocket Hog on sometimes. I'm not exactly sure there. Um, but they've also got the Banshee. They've got like two Banshees on that map. Um, I think two Scorpions. I don't know how many Goss Hogs, and it's just ridiculous how many people Protect abuse those vehicles. Like, well, you don't even know. since vehicles are pretty rare in video games, I can see why it'd be abused, but... Oh god, no. Not okay, this explain... Game. <laughs> okay, I think the Scorpion is the tank, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, it's the tank. Yeah. Um, Goss Hog is a Warthog that has a Goss Cannon on the back. It's basically this high-powered laser beam that will instantly kill you if you break <laughs> okay, so it's it's this, this game is still similar to Reach and all that. Oh yeah, it's very similar to Reach. Um, all right, like I said, I'm not very knowledgeable of the game. <laughs> yeah, um, but no, it's very similar to Reach. Uh, there are some key differences, like I said, the scope, um, the armor abilities. There's a major difference there. Uh, Explain some of the armor abilities. Um, well, there's Jetpack, that's, you know, a con that's one of the person- that's one of the, uh, crowd favorites from Reach. So, it's severely downplayed in this one, though, like, you don't have as far to extend with your, uh, Jetpack as you did in Reach. Well, to be perfectly honest, though, I thought the Jetpacks in Reach were ridiculous. Oh yeah, they were. Especially if, if you're you, up against- If you ever got to play the Halo Reach beta, <laughs> I mean, you could go- out of the map. Yeah, um, <laughs> you could still change a couple things. Uh, for example, um, you could uh, in custom games you could actually set it up so that all armor abilities were infinite. Five minutes remain. Um, you could set that up, but you could that also. I don't know what you could also do. <laughs> <laughs> kind of lost my train of thought there. I do that a lot. Like, embarrassing amounts of train of thought loss. <laughs> it's I'm, okay. Like, I do too. We were late on this fact. Um, 
um, other armor abilities in Halo 4, there's no longer armor lock, instead there's hard light shield, which as its name suggests, it gives you a large blue shield, and it only works from the front. You're literally walking around with a gigantic shield that, like, knights used to use. <laughs> nice, got that one real good. Punch in the face, or the butt in this case. Anyway, um, let's see. <laughs> that was a nice build There's a thruster oh, crack. Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want a flag? How sad. How sad for you. <laughs> um, but no, there's a uh, there's thruster pack and it allows you to. It basically replaces um, evade from Halo Reach, where you could like. It basically allows you to leap forward, backwards, side, left, or you know sides in general. Punch oh, yeah. in the face, all. <laughs> so much for that punch in the face. Man, I was expecting it. I was like, oh, you got another one. Oh. I got oh. the butt of a gun in my face. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see. So thruster pack, it's interesting. It's a little wild for my taste. Um, like it, it's not as controllable as the Bane was. Uh, other armor abilities. There's um, there's Promethean Vision, of course. It basically gives you a wall hack. Allows you to see oh. enemies. Wow, I'm really retarded in that bit there, wasn't I? I think um, I've seen. Uh, I think I've seen you use that in the like first three minutes of this video. Yeah, I prefer use Promethean Vision exclusively, primarily because now that they've made the Sprint an automatic armor ability, you don't have to use it anymore, it's just there. Um, yeah. Ever since they did that, I've been able to use whatever armor ability I want. Ordinarily, I would use Sprint, but Promethean Vision, as far as I'm concerned, is one of the best armor abilities that they could ever come out with with this game. Um, it's got a, sh a limited range and time frame, but on the plus side, you are able to see, you know, you're able to see, like, all the enemies within the range of your kill, your, uh, motion tracker. And it's a little wonky, but, um, and they also have, um, some upgrades that allow players to be invisible to Promethean Vision, which does create problems, but not major ones. Um, let's see. And this part where a freaking annoying teammate of mine kept on getting in my shot so I couldn't get, get this guy. Speaking of that, that happened to me the other day. I was, uh, I was playing, uh, another online game. Uh, it's called AVA. And there's this glitch in the game where if your teammate walks in front of you as you're shooting an RPG, it blows up the you. So I was being trolled for a good three hours like that, and it was really annoying. And when I say three hours, I literally mean three hours. It kept following me into different games. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's kind of dickish. <laughs> you <both> suck. <laughs> now, I like how they've included this feature where you get to see the camera of the guy who killed you last. I like that factor. But what annoys me about it is it makes it look like like almost every single time I look at that, I see how they killed me and half the time their targeting reticle is not even close to even on me, let alone me. Um, are their shots seemingly even hitting me, yet oh. somehow they killed me. Like, oh please don't ever, please don't ever play Call of Duty. I mean yeah. the kill cams on that, they'll be looking completely 180 degrees away from you sometimes. Yeah. I saw. Oh, another one! Yay! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> My flag! <laughs> you cannot have! No! Mine! <laughs> Come at me, bro! Come at me, bro! Come on, bro! Oh. <laughs> oh, maybe you're gonna be the one? No, 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 fuck! <laughs> 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 That's disappointing. All of the disappointing. <laughs> Oh my intense. god, we actually won? Damn. And How the round ends with a point? victory. Oh well, I'm not going to question it. We scored a fourth point. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, that was fun. Sorry we weren't actually talking about the match itself. See you guys later. Bye bye now. <laughs>